Hey folks, it's Jerry with TradeTheFifth.com. I want to take you through a little trade I did on Friday um, on a bullish day for ES. I was not available for trading in the morning myself, so I missed the big bullish run up. But I want to show you a trade um, that's available to you, I think, nonetheless, and something to be a little bit thoughtful or careful about on using the black box breakout indicator. Okay, so on Friday, uh, this shows the beginning of the day and the regular time trading hours, and you can see we gapped up uh, pretty big by 14 or 15 points. And typically, if we do not close the gap in the first few, like hour, hour and a half or so, or make any appreciable push on volume into the gap, it's probably going to be a pretty bullish day. And in this particular day, uh, looking at the pullback uh, into the beginning of the day on the regular time hours we did find support had some bullish reversal candle um, and we did find our way going back up during the day and we did have multiple highs here on the five minute time frame that had some selling wicks into them so there was some distribution of volume uh, in this area to to be looking at and I'm going to switch over to the black box breakout indicator chart I have here which is the same day and I'm going to turn this off uh, let's see I'll just remove the, let me just remove that drawing okay so you can see the Elliott wave indicator down here the wave of the oscillator part of the indicator set uh, coming into the regular time hours, we have a little bit of consolidation period in this spot here. And we see we get a wave one up, pull back in two, a long bullish run in three, which is pretty much what this kind of activity looks like in the uh, oscillator. And we get a little bit of peaking up here, a little consolidation, some sell off, and then we work our way into an ABC correction. So here's the thing I want to uh, get people to be thinking about. Um, if I look at the multiple time frame dots, the bottom row being a 30 minute, which is what I'm going to call my anchor time frame on shorter term trading, and then we've got a 20 minute, a 15 minute, a 10 minute, and the top line is going to be the time frame of the chart, in this case 5 minute. And I've taken the liberty to add you know, what a 30 minute time frame looks like in terms of a picture, but uh, the green dots tell you that we're not in the cloud in 30, uh, 20, and 15, and 10. We're all green in that area. When I see these little pullbacks on a, on a five minute time frame and I get the black box breakout indicator firing off, these are not the kind of trades that I think are relatively good ones to be taking um, because the trend of the day is very bullish. We've been consolidating up on the highs of the day. We are getting a little bit of a pullback, and if you're going to be looking at any kind of a trade on a bullish somewhat trend day, it really should be trading long on a pullback. And what I ended up doing and looking for where I would want to stock the trade was looking at the regular time, uh, time frame hours low to the high before the pullback and start st stocking a popular area where mechanical trading might occur, which is about a 50% retrace from the high could be at 38.2 61.8 you know those kind of fib area zones that you would see for a wave four pullback uh, you know going through all the teachings that Paul has given on Elliott wave trading uh, in this case I personally was looking for the 50 percent pullback and you know not looking to go short as indicated by the black box breakout indicator but what I was looking at was the wave four pullback to go back long. I think that's the proper way to look at the trade. Um, you could go to smaller time frames for short term entries. If you're stocking an area, let's say this 50% area, and you see reversal back out of that and start seeing, you know, you're getting above the high of the candle that was at the area of your low, and you can see you've made an ABC correction, I think it's a reasonable. Uh, thing to look at, at least the way I trade, uh, which is a bit more aggressive on taking long entries on these reversal uh, type signals that we're seeing here. And in this particular case, I see a bullish breakout on the false breakout indicator that comes with the Elliott Wave Suite. I see long bullish trend. I see the bullish trend on the 535. We did get the pullback uh, on the retrace here, and I'm looking to go long. Uh, one way to do that on you know looking for an entry 
could be, as I said, looking for the reversal. You could go to a smaller time frame chart, uh, let's say a three minute uh, chart, and look at, you know, maybe coming out of the cloud on a three minute pullback, which would be up in this area, and then looking to take it, uh, you know, long for a breakout of the high of the day or up around the high of the day. Um, you could take uh, another way to look at it, going back to the uh, volume profile, um, is looking at where that 50% retrace was. I'm going to add that on this chart. You know, you stock this 50% area. You got your, you know, you're starting to work out of this candle here. You could put a stop below this candle, which is below 50%, uh, and you know, look for a one or two point reversal out of this zone and then play for a trade back to the volume profile, um, high point volume of uh, volume point of the day, which is the point of control. Um, any of those kind of uh, ideas I think would work fine um, for a trade like this, especially if your idea is to stock a particular mechanical trading zone like the 50% uh, fib pullback and look at trading out of that area. You know, I'll add one more idea here. You could, you know, on this uh, chart, on the five minute chart, you can see you've pulled back. You're not at the 30, you're not at the five. What time frame might be, you know, in this zone uh, to show you're in the cloud? Well, if you look down here, it looks like the 10 minute area has touched into the cloud. And if I look at a 10 minute time frame, uh, you can see as I stalk into this area the 50% pullback here uh, the low is now touched into the cloud we have a green higher volume reversal area you could take the long going out of the cloud with a uh, stop loss below the cloud or below this candle pretty fair place to trade we traded into it a few times but I worked our way out of it uh, for a nice trade to this area which is this pivot point or looking at uh, getting back to the highs of the day. In any event, it ended up being a pretty good trade. Um, and the point I really wanted to make is to be very thoughtful about using the black box uh, breakout indicator and not just blindly taking signals uh, below a particular time frame of choice uh, where you're at with the cloud because you can really get yourself into a, a little bit of trouble. Uh, in this case, trading against the trend, uh, which was pretty bullish and pretty trend day-ish uh, the way the trend went for the day. Hope that helps. Take care. Uh, we'll see you later.